Clap your hands, people. Spring has arrived, and all across the Mississippi River Basin, natural resource managers are preserving the integrity of prairie ecosystems by burning them to the ground. If you've never done this before, it's a beautiful thing, and it's not as complicated as you might think. Burn Crew personal gear, boots, pants, gloves, jacket, walkie-talkie, earplugs, goggles, handkerchief, baseball cap, yard rake, and a drip torch. Standard team, 10 people. You also need four pickup trucks with water tanks and spray guns, and you're ready to go. Here's a typical prairie unit, surrounded on all sides by rivers, roads, and the occasional bike path and horse trail. You start by using your drip torch to light a backfire, which runs along the downwind side. If you do it right, the flames will move slowly because they are fighting the wind, and the water trucks can extinguish the outside edge. Just don't forget your handkerchief, because the person with the spray gun always swallows a lot of smoke. Next up, you do the sides, same as the backfire. And once you've created what looks like a big black horseshoe, it's time for the head fire, or as I think of it, the wind-driven monster that makes this job so amazing. Towers of ash block out the sun, waves of flame leap 15 feet in the air, and on the very best days, glowing tornadoes will dance around each other as if they're taking the Hippocratic Oath. At this point, everything should be burning, which means your work is largely done, but there are still a few things to watch out for. For example, bull snakes are intelligent and safe to touch creatures, but they can't always find their holes in time, so if you see one, carry it to safety. Same with bicyclists. Also, every few years some news organization will send out a helicopter and fly way too close, so if you get a chance, push them back where they belong. Finally, when you're mopping up after the burn, don't feel bad about the destruction. This is the same natural process that helped create the prairie in the first place. And if you come back in a week or two, you'll witness the full, rejuvenating persistence of life. Black turns green, blue stem surges, and the humble creatures of the prairie will sing so loudly it's almost overwhelming. Happy burn season, everybody, and thanks to Three Rivers Park District for a truly remarkable experience.